Welcome to the Evernote session here at the uh, APCUG DMA and NASAC Technical Conference in Dayton, Ohio. My name is Huey Poplock. I'm from APCUG, Vice President, Webmaster. And I'm going to talk about Evernote. And what is Evernote? Well, we're going to find out in the next uh, 45, 50 minutes. Before we do, uh, as usual, Sue, uh, Susie and Mel want to say hello to you. Uh, these are my, uh, our two dogs, and uh, we dress them up for holidays and so on, and we thought that the, uh, the green hats would be apropos for Evernote. Okay, what is Evernote? Well, Evernote is for mobile devices, your Android, your iOS, BlackBerry, uh, Mobile, win uh, mobile Windows, and HP WebOS. It's for computers. An Apple Mac, Windows, Windows 8, Safari, Chrome, Firefox, uh, works on all of them. And what is Evernote? Well, it's a free program. Yep, it's free. There is a premium version. It costs you $5 per month. It offers you a little bit more storage and some more options. For the most part, most of you will never need the premium version. It collects information the way you think. It gathers text, images, web pages, URLs, audio, video, and so on, all in one place, and so you can keep track of it. And it works best with a combination of a smartphone or tablet and a desktop program. Now, where is it stored? Well, everything you collect in Evernote will be backed up in the cloud on Evernote's site. It can be accessed from anywhere that you have Internet access. It also syncs either on demand or on a schedule that you set and can be used from smartphone, tablet, notebook, computer, anywhere you've installed Evernote. In fact, even if you don't install Evernote, you can get to it through your browser. You can collect any type of information by typing it in. You can cut and paste it in. You can take a picture with your phone or tablet. You can have audio recording, webcam recording. You can clip a web page, an image, section, a selection uh, from a uh, web page, uh, a URL, just the address. Uh, but the URL, URL is saved with the clipping. You can scan directly into Evernote. You can email to an Evernote address. You get an address when you set up your, e your Evernote account, and you can send items to that address. It automatically creates a note from it. And you can drag and drop a ta an attachment or a file. Data is arranged by notebooks. You can set up notebooks to your taste or suit. Uh, or suit it to the way you think. You start by creating notebooks that you think you'll need and you can always add new notebooks at any time and you store the data in the notebooks as you acquire it or move it into the notebooks later. So if you just if you don't have the time you just uh, drop them into the default notebook and later on they can be moved very easily. And what are notebooks? Or what about notebooks? Well, they can be shared. You can either make them public or share them with just specific people. You can stack them by dragging one into another, like in a genealogy with a sub-notebook for family names. Uh, they can be renamed or deleted when they're no longer needed. And they can be linked, and a link to one placed, uh, uh, to one placed into another. So you can uh, actually create a link within a note to go to a, a different note. Okay, here's what Evernote looks like. This is what it looks like if you sign in with your browser and look at it out in the cloud. This is what it looks like from your browser. I'm sorry, using the uh, Windows uh, program that you download and install. So I'm going to go back and go forward. They look almost identical. So it doesn't matter how you use it, 
However, I, I, I like to use the program and, uh, and when you're using it in the iOS or on your Android, uh, you want to get the uh, app for that device and it will keep track of it that way as well. This is a web page using Firefox. If you'll notice up on the upper right hand corner, I have the web uh, or the Evernote Clipper and Clearly uh, icons up there. And I'm going to talk about Clearly a little bit later and even the Web Clipper. But the Web Clipper is just something that, that you use uh, as part of Evernote and you're able to clip either part of the uh, page or you can, you can actually clip the whole page if you want and make it part of your note. And all you have to do is click on the elephant and it will then take what it feels is the area in which you want to select. And it also will open up a dialog box in which you can choose which notebook you want it to go into. This one is about uh, some things di uh, for digital for photos. So I'm putting it in the digital photo SIG folder. And you'll notice that it... Uh, uh, I can. That's a drop down, and so I could change it to another, uh, and and then clip, and then where it says clip article, click that, and it will save the article. It also has uh, some ways to expand the selection, shrink it, and so on. I have found that that doesn't always work well, uh, but if you don't have it without the sizer, uh, this is what it will look like without a sizer. It, it's the same thing. Okay, we've. Now clipped the article, and there is the article. It's in our Evernote. There's, notice there's three columns. Let's look at the three columns. On the left are an announcements, shortcuts, but also you'll see the notes. On this, at, at this particular time when I took this screenshot, I had 2,189 notes. I'm actually over 2,200 now. Uh, and then below it are the notebooks that I have and they can be anything that you desire you can make your own up and you can add as I said earlier you can add and move them around within notebooks anytime you want in the center you have the choice of setting it up with uh, uh, in the small snippets like you see you can set it up as a list or you can set it up as uh, 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 actual clips and then on the right is the clip and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, look at it. Uh, if you double click the note, and you'll see it's down on the bottom in the center. When I double clicked it, it will open up the note. And we're going to examine what a note shows us. Notice where it says info. Under info, it gives a title and it picks up the title of the article if it's a web page. You can, and notice that that's uh, uh, in, in blue, it, that's actually editable and you can change that at any time. So you can have a different title, you can change it to something that means, has more meaning to you, or if it just didn't pick up the right name, uh, you can always change that. Then it also shows what your notebook. Notice there's a drop-down button there, and you can change that into any notebook that you want it to be a part of. Uh, you can add tags if you wish. It shows when it was created, when it was updated. Uh, you, it also shows the, it picks up the URL and adds it in, so you've got a link to the actual original article that you got it from as well. If you want, uh, there may be a location. You can add the author if you want, or it may pick that up. And then when it's last edited by, uh, and some sync status, and at this this particular one we had been synced six minutes prior to when I took the screenshot. Uh, it's all been indexed, and you can actually look at a view of the history. Now you can share your clips. You can send it by email. 
you cl click that, it actually brings up a dialog box, and I think I'm going to show you that. But you can post it to Facebook, you can post it to Twitter, you can post it to LinkedIn, or you can just copy the note URL to the clipboard and then paste it into, into something else. But if you send it by email, uh, let's see, I'll, I will show it to you a little bit later. Uh, and then there, you can also have reminders. So if you want to be reminded about something that you've put in a particular note, you can say, uh, by clicking that, it adds a reminder. You can add a date, and it'll send you an email to remind you to look at that particular note. And then once you have, have marked it, you can mark it as done. You can clear it, and you can add the date to it. And then you can also change the notebook that it belongs to, and there's a list of, of many of mine. Yours will be quite different, I'm sure. You'll also notice that you can print and you can delete your note as well. Okay, if I chose to email it, it asks for you to put in an email address. It's not picking that up from any uh, phone book or address book, so you will have to know or remember what the email address is that you want to send it to. Uh, I have found that it uh, for whatever reason, a, uh, a, a Google group will not accept it, even if my default email address in, in Evernote is the one that I'm registered for that Google group. But uh, if I send it to some groups, uh, we have some groups at uh, APCUG, and if I send it to one of those, it does go to everybody. So it's, it, that's a function of Google groups. It doesn't let it do it. So you may be able to or not be able to uh, uh, take care of, uh, of have it go to a group. You put in the subject, uh, and it actually will pick up the subject from the title. Uh, you can copy yourself so you know that it got sent, or just to double check. Uh, if you want, that's a checkbox. And then you ha do write in a little bit of a note, and then hit the send button, and off it goes. Another uh, type of, of note that you can have is a checkbox. You can create a text, tell it you want it to have, a check, have it as a checklist. It creates the checkboxes, and then you can check them as you want to or as you accomplish the various items. So not only can it be a reminder, but it can be a, somewhat of a to-do list, and as you do the things, you can check off what you've done. So it can be used that way, and then you can interchange that with other people by sharing it with people so people can see what everyone is doing within the uh, uh, particular items. You can email anything to your Evernote. You, you are assigned Evernote uh, will assign you an email address, and that email address, uh, I've got mine blacked out, but uh, with that email address, you can automatically send the uh, email to yourself. It will then post it in the uh, in your Evernote uh, as a note. And to show you what it looks like after you've sent it, there's the note that I sent myself. So it looks just like if I captured it as well. It also shows me where the uh, where the article came from. I can copy and paste that uh, anywhere as I want, and I can use it. Uh, it came directly from a uh, particular uh, a particular uh, website. Okay, uh, another thing that you can do with Evernote is it's very powerful, and you can do searches with it. And not only does it search text and and, and so on that you add, but it will search. PDF files, it will search pictures, it will search anything that, that you post for that particular word. Now, PDFs, uh, you have to, in order to attach PDFs, I believe you have to have a premium account. So, I, and I do have one. But I have this newspaper article from 1945, and it was a PDF that I found out on the, on the, on the web. I did a search using the word mayor. And you'll see uh, at the top, 
in, in the box it says mayor and then search for it and you'll see in the center it shows me any uh, of my notes that it thinks it found the word mayor. It didn't find, uh, I found a couple of them were not accurate but the ones that I wanted were there and that's what I'm going to show you next. Let's do a close-up of that PDF file and what you're seeing where my where the green circle is in the center and I highlighted where it says the word mayor and you can't see it that well so I'm going to bring it in a little bit close but there it is the word mayor and it was in that large PDF file and that PDF file was not OCR the the Evernote is handling figuring out what the word is then not only did I search for it, did it find it in this, but it also found it in a picture of a, a mayoral candidate, uh, his sign that was out in somebody's lawn. I, this was something I just downloaded from the internet uh, because they had the word mayor in it, and I just I wanted to have it as, as an illustration. But you can see it in two places. It said, oh, wait a minute, there's the word mayor in both of those places. So from a picture that I downloaded from the web, I didn't have to go in and I didn't have to uh, figure out what it said and type in those words as tags it it knew from the picture so it OCR'd the picture and was able to pick up the words and make them a part of the search and there's a close-up of that same picture okay let's use uh, Outlook, Outlook and Evernote I happen to use Outlook and Outlook when I installed Evernote it's, it knows that I have Outlook installed, so it actually added to my Outlook a button at the top. So when I get an email, I can just click on that button, and it will add that email to my Evernote. Now, this was a particular email, and when I saved it, uh, it wanted to know some information, so I added a couple of tags to it. Uh, merit line and uh, and I was looking at the SDHC card that was there and when I added it it added some a menu some menu items well I really don't want those menu items in there so I can actually go into the note and edit those out and so it looked like this and so those menu items are no longer there by the way the menu items would be live and if they're connected to a website it'll take you back to the website and notice that this is an email, so it does have the subject from and to and, and, and the date sent in the note. And this is how it saved the note. That is a ever note. And you'll see it now in my full Evernote program. You'll see it that it's listed there, and then you'll see it to the in the center column. It's highlighted, and so that's the one you see over on the right. And so it is. It's been added to to Evernote directly from my Outlook. Okay, there's some add-ons to Evernote. And it's, the add-ons are called Evernote Trunk. And there are several of them. I'm only going to talk about two of them. One of them is Skitch, and the other one is Clearly. But let's talk about a, uh, Evernote Skitch. Skitch get your point across with fewer words using annotation shapes and sketches so that your ideas become reality faster sketch is a program you click on sketch when you have something open on your web page uh, it, it helps you draw attention it quickly focuses on what's important and using annotation and markup you can say it with fewer words and you can move projects forward so when you click on Sketch, this is the dialog box you get. Notice at the top it says Screen Snap. Well, I use Snipper and I use Snagit and so on, but this is a. You don't have to create something, put it somewhere, then get it, and then put it in to, into Evernote. What Sketch will do, and you'll see it here, I'm going to click on the Screen Snap. I have Facebook open. Screen Snap is like uh, the snipping tool. You, it grays out everything except for what you want to capture. So there's the area in which I want to capture. So you just drag your, your mouse 
to the and and sketch out sketch out or sketch out the area in which you want to capture and you click on you click on it and there is the capture now you can add text you can add arrows you can uh, uh, you can pixelate something you can write on it you can uh, and there's some things some other things you can add to it but what you're going to see here here's where I added an arrow I added I'm planning on having these tonight the text of it and you'll notice I pixelated the name I did uh, use uh, a regular editing tool to blacken out the face because I'm trying to protect the privacy of somebody somebody who's uh, Facebook that I captured but the, what I what I want to show you the fact is using sketch you can grab some information even from Facebook which you cannot copy and paste from Facebook easily but I'm able to do it and actually annotate it save it and as soon as I save it it looks like this and now it's in my Evernote uh, going back what you'll see is up in the upper right hand corner just below uh, just below the upper right hand corner it says save to Evernote and just before that it's save to Evernote I clicked on save to Evernote it saved it told me it saved it and when I look at Evernote there is the uh, the note with that information and only that information but it, but I also know that it did come from Facebook okay another Evernote a trunk item is called clearly Evernote clearly makes blog posts articles and web pages clean and easy to read uh, and then you save them to Evernote and read them anywhere so it's distraction free reading you can make it your own and you save it for later okay I'm I'm looking at uh, Feedly which is the RSS reader that I use it's how I get my news so I see a headline thousands of social security numbers sent in email okay and it said visit website so I click on it and I go to the website and there's the article well it also has some information on the right it's got a an ad it's got uh, uh, some feature news it's got some related posts on the bottom it's got the heading at the top well if I choose clearly this is what it will do to it it takes out all of the extraneous information that I really don't care about it does it all automatically and then I click on the little elephant on the right which then saves it as a clip if I don't like it the little arrow at the top the redo arrow if I go back to that it takes me back to the article so when I hit the when I hit the elephant it saves it and now that's what it looks like in Evernote so it's added it to Evernote with just the information I wanted I can then go in and actually edit it edit out the information at the bottom and so I only have the part of the article that I want to save and it's it's got the uh, you can see up in the upper right hand corner on the right column uh, it does say da www.databreaches.net so it does have a link to the original article is still even though it's uh, just the information that I wanted so Evernote trunk it's Evernote it's Skitch it's pen ultimate which is a handwriting uh, which you can do handwriting I've not used it uh, you have the web clipper and that's we've been using that Evernote hello remembers people when you meet them and you put their business card in and there's some some things about it if, if you're going to a lot of conferences you go to a lot of meetings and so on you're doing a lot of networking Evernote hello is something that you probably want to look at Evernote food if you do a lot of uh, recipes save a lot of recipes and so on uh, it, it's an add-on to Evernote that, that helps keep track of recipes Evernote clearly is what I just demonstrated and Evernote peak has to do for students it's to study smarter and I and I and I've not used it and I'm not familiar with it are you ready to use Evernote 
Okay, my thanks to Betty Jo Stockton of the Central Florida Genealogical Society. Uh, she's permitted us to use uh, her outline, and I have a copy of that for all of you. Uh, she gave me permission to hand it out, but don't post it on a website or print it without getting her permission. But you make make copies for friends if you want. And uh, I'm ready for some questions. <laughs>